Well, congratulations, Pete, on uh, another successful. You have never lost a debut game as a head coach in your career. Is that correct? Boy, you had to dig deep to, <laughs> to, to pull that out of the archives. Yeah, very fortunate. Uh, Four and zero in openers, but that that's a credit to the coaching staffs and the players buying in at those places, and and uh, you know a, a good enough execution of the plan that uh, that we're able to come away with the win. So very proud of our kids, and they worked really hard over the last seven plus months for that one. So it was just good to see their smiling faces afterwards. You know the win over Lafayette, what your team it was well played, it was well handled, it was well controlled. I, I think you might say those last two things are sometimes as important and maybe the things you weren't sure about. Agreed. You know, one of the big question marks about this team was where's their confidence going to be? Uh, what's their poise going to be like? There's so many new players, so many new faces. Most of these guys haven't played a lot or played with each other before. So to come out and have a strong first half, uh, to go in with a, a pretty commanding lead at halftime, then to face some adversity in the second half where things teetered a little bit, but then to, to make the plays you needed to make to pull away. Uh, I think it says a lot about the character of this team, and hopefully that was a really good first step from a learning standpoint, build a little bit of confidence. Obviously a ton to clean up in all three phases, but uh, very proud of how they handled themselves, particularly during those adverse moments. You got some great contributions from some transfer guys, which is the world that we all live in now. I, you know, Taji Johnson with a touchdown, Kobe Stewart with two sacks. How have you as a coach and a coaching staff helped make new guys feel comfortable and ready to contribute right off the bat? Well, we're all in it together. And I remember our first team meeting. It was literally my first day here when those new players showed up and there were a bunch of them in that room, many of them transfers, some of them early enrolling freshmen. And uh, Jen and I landed late the night before, you know, who knows how many hours of sleep you got in the hotel. And then you roll in here and meet with those guys. And, and one of the first things I remember saying to them is, we're all in it together. We're all going to go through this together. We're all going to learn together. We're all going to acclimate together. Uh, there's going to be some bumps in the road inevitably as we go through this transition. But but don't ever forget, the reason I have a job is because of you guys. And, and we're going to be here to, to work through and solve problems uh, with each other and, and try to do it the right way. And so um, there's there's been that vibe. There's been that that feeling really since day one that um, yes there are a lot of new faces but we need to come together as quickly as we can and you want to talk about two leaders both of those guys were game captains um, Kobe and Taj great personalities leaders on and off the field and it was great to see both of them have a really productive first game talking with Pete Lambeau Bulls head coach as we get you ready for the Bulls trip to Columbia Missouri to take on the Tigers all right you spent the last three years coaching in Columbia South Carolina for the fourth straight year you will, you will face the team from Columbia Missouri sounds like the old record club when we were kids right a little bit but it means you know Missouri you've seen them for three yeah. straight years does that help you get ready for this game it does in some ways, and it starts with a tremendous amount of respect and admiration for what they've built there. Um, it, when you think about the SEC, programs like Mizzou, South Carolina, those are not blue bloods. They were later entries into the conference. And so you're always a little bit behind as you build your program and try to catch the Alabamas and the Georgias and the LSUs of the world. And Mizzou has done a fabulous job of it. They've recruited extremely well. They've had a great plan to build their program, build their facilities. Uh, they've got great support. Um, but Coach Drinkwitz has, has just been masterful in putting it all together and getting progressive better every year. Uh, I love how they play complementary football. Um, there's There's been a cohesion there that really starts at the top and starts with really good management, and they've had it. All right, well, let's wrap it up as we will every week here with our Learning with Lembo section where we tap into Pete's knowledge of history and pop culture. Tell us about the only U.S. president to have come from the state of Missouri. Harry Truman. That's right. And uh, actually, one of the state universities changed its name 
I don't know, 10, 15 years ago to be Truman State. So very, uh, very fitting, very appropriate. Uh, he, he was president during uh, the end of World War II. Pretty significant, right? That was, you know, when you look back at, at, at very tough jobs, that was a part of it. Very tough job, very big uh, shoes to fill, some monumental decisions to make. I can only imagine what... Uh, what going to bed every night would have felt like if you were Harry Truman. All right, there you go. Learning with Lembo. Every week we're going to tap into Pete's Now We're going to be better for it because of Pete's vast knowledge of history. Pete, thank you very much. Congratulations on the win. Good luck against Missouri. Thanks so much.